morning, children. Mrs. Levet and I are very pleased to be with you this morning for our very first Golden Award celebration worship that we've done with our virtual school. We've seen you doing lots of great things online, and now's an opportunity for us to celebrate and share that together as our school family. Uh, before we begin our worship, as always, we'll light our uh, worship candle. So here we go. We'll just get that one lit. Yep, there we are. I'm going to pop that on the worship table behind us. And as always, I shall say, peace be with you. And now we're starting our special time, our worship time. Mrs. Levette, would you like to share I our would, first Golden Award? I would love to. Our first Golden Award goes to a young lady who I've heard your name mentioned quite a lot this week. Um, you've been given your Golden Award from Mrs. Hennessy for your work in RHSR. HSE, I always get that mixed up, and this is for fantastic um, learning and a great attitude to your learning during the live lessons, and he followed it up with great work. So this is for Lexi May Biddle, well done Lexi, but I also know that Mrs um, O'Reilly's been singing your praises because you've been doing so well and attending your live lessons for English and maths and your topic work. So well done Lexi, golden award for you. Brilliant, what a great way to start and another great one to follow it up. Uh, Stanley 34G, I know that you have been joining Mr C with his PE sessions. You've had great attendance at those. So well done to you, young man. Mr C says that out of all the children that have joined our PE sessions this week, you're the one that stood out. It says in your Golden Award here, Stanley, high attendance in all PE sessions and participating with enthusiasm. So congratulations, there's your Golden Award. It will be in the post to you so, uh, soon. Congratulations, I Stanley. Think, I think Stanley had high attendance in lockdown one as well. And I think mum was <laughs> instrumental in that as well. We have lots of mums that joined him, which is brilliant. My next Golden Award that I'm going to be reading out is for um, George Comer. So George, You've been given your Golden Award by Miss Esperon, um, and she said that you've been worked in, working incredibly hard in all your lessons, your online lessons and your work that you've produced. It's been fantastic. And we thought that Miss Esperon actually said that Mummy needs a Golden Award as well, because she's obviously been working so hard with you. Let's have a quick look at some of the work that George has been doing. OK, so there's George there. There's some of his work at the top, where he's been mapping instructions for making a magic hat. And then we've got maths work on capacity this week. So how much liquid he can actually put into some of the glasses. They're all at different levels. I'm sure he drank all of those afterwards. <laughs> um, absolutely tons of work to share. We've got him in a Mighty Warrior T-shirt there, um, showing off his capacity work and exploding shadows in science. And there's so many, I can't actually share them all. So whoo, well done, George. Golden Award for you. Brilliant. Well done, young man. And a well done to Lenny. Lenny Cullip, uh, you've got a Golden Award coming your way. And I'm going to try and read what it says in your Golden Award as I hold up your fantastic writing. So Lenny, oops, just going to try that again. It's floating over. Lenny, it says here that uh, you've been working so hard in our virtual school, attending all of the lessons, producing fantastic work, and in particularly, your teacher is impressed with your English writing. And so am I. In fact, I'm sure we all are, as we can see it on the screen. Well done, Lenny. Congratulations. OK, next Golden Award today goes to Bella Bolton. So congratulations, Bella. You've got a Golden Award. Um, and Mrs Antonia was telling me how all of your purple mash work that you've got, you've worked hard with Mummy to put them all into special files and all of your work is uploaded in the right places. So it's so super easy for her to access. You have had been given your Golden Award for producing extra work on top of the to-dos that Mrs Antonia has been giving you in English and maths and turning up and being really, really full of enthusiasm in all of your lessons. So this is some of the English work that Bella's been doing. So she's been looking at our right stuff work. So she's looked at tree parts, twig, trunk, leaf, branch. She's done a great piece of work there. And in her maths, she's also been working very, very hard. So well done, Bella Bolton. Very well um, deserved award, I think, there. Absolutely, definitely, definitely, definitely. And another uh, well deserved one here. In fact, I know that Mrs. O'Reilly Keelan was talking about you uh, to Mrs. Levett and I just a little earlier on this morning. So I've got a Golden Award, Keelan Gibson, for you. I'll read it out and then I'm going to share some of your work. It says here great participation in our virtual learning classroom, 
working hard on the task set, well done. And it definitely is well done, Keelan. Uh, being able to see your writing here, and I love the onomatopoeic words you've used, like crash and bang and wallop, and that you've been putting them in capital letters to make them really stand out. That's fantastic writing. Well done, Keelan. A golden award, well deserved for you. It's nice to see so much uh, writing going on. Jada Levermore, you've been given a golden award this week from Mrs Tibbetts, and that is for your writing. So in 3-4-T, and I think the other 3-4 classes, you've been looking at Mafaro's Beautiful Daughter um, as a text, which is one of my favourites. Mm. Um, and your writing that you have been putting together um, has impressed Mrs Tibbetts. Um, here's one of a, a sentence that I really like. Um, as Manyara was on her journey, she nearly stood on a small boy. Please give me some food, he begged, but Manyara shouted. I've only bought enough for myself. How dare you? I am the future queen, as she walked past, hurrying to the city. So you have brought some um, excellent direct speech into your writing as well. So Jada, your Golden Award is for producing some excellent pieces of descriptive writing over the last two weeks. You've obviously enjoyed that unit. Well done. Fantastic. And yet more good writing. But this time from uh, one of our children that has uh, some uh, extra individual support. Uh, lots of you know children and parents that we have a small group and individual support going on in our virtual school as well, just like we would do normally in school. And so this time, uh, Casey 34G, uh, everyone has been really impressed with the writing and the work that you've been doing in school. Your Golden Award, Casey says, it is for engaging in all your live lessons and completing your work to a fantastic standard. And I can see that you've been focusing on doing some sequencing, getting things all in the right order, all in chronological order, which is very important before we do any writing. And then you've done some brilliant writing as well. And I can see you've remembered four stops at the end of every sentence. So well done, Casey. We are very pleased with you That's indeed. Great. Congratulations, yeah. all your hard work. Well done, Casey. OK, I've got a, a golden award from Mrs. Alston in 34A, and this is for Flory Bell. Flory Bell is one of many children, I think, in <laughs> middle school who are budding artists. The artwork coming out of 3-4 um, at the moment is really impressive. Um, which will really please Miss Gildersleeves because mm. she mm. Uh, leads art in our school. But this is a picture of Big Ben that Florrie has done. And it is really, really nice. Look at the way that she's actually shaded all of the clouds, all of the different aspects of Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Um, she's used her ruler because we've got some really straight lines when we look at that building, but also she shaded it to give it a little bit of depth. So well done, Florrie. You've done a great job. You have indeed. And now we're going to move into some golden awards for children in upper school. We've looked at lower school and middle school, and we're going to move to upper school. Now, uh, uh, I've got the privilege of that first upper school golden award, and that's for Kelly Marshall. So Kelly, congratulations here. It says a fantastic piece of writing about visiting the Taj Mahal. And I'm going to read just a little bit. You might be able to see at home that what Kelly has done is to write a postcard to show her understanding uh, about the Taj Mahal. And I'm just going to read just a little bit of it. It's all fantastic. So I'm just going to read a little part of it. It says, hello, Miss Salmon. When I first set eyes on the Taj Mahal, I was very impressed because it was beautiful and really big. I was very surprised by the size of the building. It was enormous. It was much bigger than I would ever have imagined, which is a great way to start that postcard. So congratulations, Kelly. Good learning and some good writing. And I have to say that Kelly has been fantastic in attending her live lessons for me for English this week. So I'm really proud of you. Well done, Kelly. OK, we have got a golden award from Miss Southern's class for Mia O'Shaughnessy. So Mia, you have been given your golden award for your dedication in all lessons, which is brilliant and going above and beyond with your learning. So your learning that we are celebrating today is for your topic, because you're looking at India. So you've gone away and done some research on the cities of India. So you have looked at New Delhi, you've looked at Mumbai and Jodhpur. So you have put together some incredible work. Um, you've also got a separate piece of work here for your science, looking at all of the different planets that are in the solar system. So well done to you. Excellent work. Indeed, and an excellent golden award to end with. We've saved this one till end because it's about learning and about something more that's really important to us at St Osith. So I'm going to read it out, but uh, let's first of all announce who it's for. Alfie, Alfie in 560, congratulations. This is your golden award. As I uh, turn it around and show everybody, I'm going to read it out as well. It says here, it is for attending all the live lessons 
taking virtual school seriously and quite right too. It's just like real school, but at home. He's been incredibly kind to his peers. So that means all the children that he works with in his classes online, offering supportive advice on the chat if his friends have found something difficult. And Alfie, that's exactly what we want, isn't it? From everyone in our school, that's part of yeah. what makes St Osith St Osith. The fact that actually we all help each other whether we're children, whether we're adults, we're here to help each other and to work hard. So congratulations, young man. That is a super Golden Award to end our first uh, Golden Award celebration worship of this week. Which shows actually how hard you're all working. and We're all incredibly proud of you and, and a massive thanks to all your parents as well who are working so hard with you and are probably learning an awful lot as well. So. <laughs> I suspect so. Excellent. So what a wonderful, good first Golden Award celebration worship. We're going to end in the way that we usually do by saying go in peace and care for others. Take care. We will see you soon.